Day 29, Thursday the 17th of May, started early as usual, having studied my logistical plan for the day. I was only on the Proctor's Stead campsite for about 12 hours before moving the van into Craster village centre to be moved later in the day to sea houses. Then to catch the 756 bus to Arnmouth before walking back to Craster. Then moving the van to sea houses and catching a bus back here before walking to sea houses. So, in total, that's about 12 miles of van driving, 17 miles of bus rides, and 17 miles of walking. That's a total of 46 miles travelled in a day. Well, it's cold this morning. I'm glad there's a bus shelter. I'm just sat here. I've got 7.41. The bus comes at 7.56. There's nowhere open at all. It's far too early. No cafes, no shops. I haven't seen anybody yet walking about in the place. But this is a cosy little bus shelter. Got me tunes, I'm all right. So the bus has just dropped me off and it's only a mile and a half to walk into Almouth, which is around about half an hour. Might see if I can get a spot of breakfast as well. And uh, strangely, within the last 30 seconds, the sun's come out. There's still this kind of wind from the north. I'm not quite sure which direction it's coming from, but it's quite cold actually. It's only probably about six or seven degrees. Les and Trisha, so what are you off to do today then Les, what's, what's the plan? Well we're, we're doing a circular walk around the Craster. Coast. Yes. And we're going to go back there, we've, it's, it's about an eight mile walk. 
Oh well, that's good. That's good. Are you are you like avid walkers? Have you done have you done many of the sort of known routes and things? Yeah, we've had a few. We've been on the um, what, what do you call it there? Coast to coast. Yeah, the the coast co coast to coast to the oh, great, right. great Glenway. Oh right. So we've done all that. But that's the one that finishes in Robin Hood's Bay, isn't it? Yeah, 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 the, yeah, the, yeah. Coast to coast, the Wade Bites one. Yeah. Well, that's that's excellent. Today, I, I, I recommend that you, you get out of this wind. I've been walking, yeah, I've been walking against it now for nearly three hours, and it exhausts you. Yeah, I know. But uh, you know, when, when you go inland, it's, it's quite a bit better. But walking up the beach is horrendous. Right. And it's been a pleasure meeting you. Okay then. And uh, all the best for, with your walks. And yeah, yeah nice to right. see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Trisha. Thank you. Bye bye now. Bye bye. bye, -bye. These are two very nice people that I've just met uh, in a pub in Cranston, and it's Al and Jane. <laughs> so what are, you doing, what are you doing today, Al? What's, what's it all about? Well, we're going to have a nice crab sandwich here at the Jolly Sailor, and then, uh, then we're going to walk on to Rumbling Ken yeah. along the coast, back again. So, so you, you do cycling, you, you, you've been cycling today though, haven't you, Jane? Yeah, we, do like, we like to go cycling along the coast. We've been to Almouth, which is beautiful. I recommend it for anyone to go and have a look at, and then back to Craster. Right. It's and where, where, where do you live then, or where are you from? Oh, we live right in the heart of the Yorkshire Dales, between... Uh, Littendale. Yeah, Littendale. Grass, Litt Grassing Hawks, we call the village. It's between Grassington and Kettlewell. Wow, that's nice out there. I mean, I like Malham and Skipton and stuff. Skipton's I mean, our, our nearest town, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then we can walk over to Malham from our, from our house, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's been good to meet Jim today and hear all about his trials. He's doing yeah. really well and we wish him well all for the rest of the journey. Well, it's been very. It's been a great pleasure meeting you. I mean, if you'd have been here tonight or had a bit, we could have gone for a few beers. Absolutely. <laughs> but if you're around about, you've got my phone number now. Yeah. You know, and I'm just walking up the up the, the coast in like ten mile stages. So uh, anyway, thank you very much. Great Lovely. pleasure Good to meet you. Yeah, lovely, okay. to meet, lovely to meet you. Jim. Thank Bye. you. Bye now.
the 11 o'clock on Thursday the 17th of May which is the first day of week six. I left Grimsby six weeks ago today. I'm walking up towards Dustenburg Castle which I can see is about uh, maybe a mile, mile and a half ahead and as you can probably hear there's still that northerly wind blowing in my face which made it quite hard work yesterday and it looks to me as if it's going to be exactly the same today so I put on an extra layer of clothing because I got quite cold yesterday Very nice people on the beach and here's two people, Angela and Tony, who are just walking along heading down for the uh, for the castle. the castle. Yeah. So you've done this walk before or on, some, on the some years north ago. of the yes? Oh, quite a few years ago, yes. yes. And also from the other side, from the south. Right. And, and uh, has walking always been a part of your life then? Oh yes, ever yeah. since we got married. Yeah. Really? Yes. Oh, well, oh. My husband's the real walker, I'm, I'm real the walker amateur. Well. <laughs> really? Well that, that's interesting that you can actually do it together at, oh, yes. at times as well. We've done some very airy walks in Bonnie Scotland. Yes. <laughs> On the Coolings of Sky. Yes, yes. <laughs> very nice. And, and, and any other ones, Tony? Oh, and yes. oh we, we've been up in the Benetime time or two. Yes. We love Glencoe, we've had some marvellous peaks Glencoe. And of course in Wales we're very fond of the Glitter Eye and the Snowden. Yes. And we've climbed the Scorefells a few times, haven't we? Yes. Well, that's Hello. fantastic. That's fantastic. So we've had some really good walks we had in the years. Yes. And what about your children, your grandchildren? Are they taking after you? Are they walking? Well, uh, our sons really love the walking. Yes. yes. I don't, don't think they've introduced the young, young ones to them yet because so they're very young. They're very young. Well, yes, yes. Well, I always say this to everybody, it's been a very great pleasure meeting you and um, I wish you every success. Thank um, you. Uh, you I know we're ships in the night, but I mean, I'm sure, I don't know whether you use the internet, but you can look on there, but if not, maybe, you, maybe you've got a friend or a neighbour who can yeah. help you. And, and if you just look for, that's all you've got to do is just put Jim's Coastal Path Walk and, and you'll see this interview as well. Okay, yes. thank you very much. Thank you very much. We look thank forward you, Jim. to seeing the rest of your journey. And I hope yes. you have a, a good completion of your journey. Thank yes. you very much indeed. Thank much, you. Much walk. Ship in, and uh, I bumped into France again. And, uh, <laughs> France, how are you doing? Very fine, very fine. Got everything going to plan? Yeah, yeah. Very good. 
Very and good. You're heading for sea houses the same as me. Yes. So, uh, so maybe we could get together tonight and uh, we'll walk together for a while. Yes. And um, sea houses, we'll try and find a campsite somewhere up there and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have a few beers. You yeah. fancy? You it's fancy? A great plan. Yeah. Great plan. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's ever so nice to see you again. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. A pleasure for me. <laughs> Here we are at North Shields and this is a very nice gentleman that I've just met. His name is Franz and he's come over from Germany and he's going to be walking to Edinburgh which is more or less the same direction as me. So why have you come to England to do some walking then, Franz? Oh, why? Yes. Well, that was just a, an idea. Yes. Of me. Also, I think this will be maybe the last year the UK is in the European Union. So I thought I'd make a, a little walk yeah. for the goodbye. <laughs> goodbye England. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye Great Britain. Good, goodbye EU. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, that's very interesting. I've never heard of a reason like that. <laughs> so you do a lot of walking in France. Yes, I walk very much usually. But I try to slow down because I'm not the youngest anymore. <laughs> How old are you now? I'm 54. 54? Well, you're wearing well. You look very fit. Yes, I am. I think so. But not as fit like uh, a few years before, no. maybe, probably. No, age does catch up. So when did you arrive in England? Yesterday. Yes? Yesterday evening I was arriving by aeroplane uh, at the International Airport in Newcastle. Yes, yes. Oh, well, that's very good. Well, I hope you have a, a, a very nice visit. Is it the first time you've been to England? It's the first time uh, in this region. I already have been to London twice, I think. And uh, to Ireland, yes, that's something oh, right. different. I have been for a few weeks walking, but never in Great Britain. I wasn't uh, there. No. No. Yeah. Whereabouts in Germany are you from? I'm from, yeah, from originally from southwest of Germany, yes. so near Ulm, Biberach, Riss. Right. Yes. yes. Near Lake of Constance. All oh, right. Right. But I live. Uh, I used to live in Berlin the last 20 years, but now I'm back again in the southwest. Yes. Very good. Well, it's been a real pleasure meeting you, Franz, and, and we might bump into each other again on the road. You never yeah, know. Yeah, I hope so. That would be very funny. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, when, when you get to Edinburgh, you've got my phone number now. Give, yes. me, give me a call and we'll meet up. Yes, yeah. that would be a, a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much okay. also. Yeah, uh, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you yeah. too. Yes. Okay. Franz was a real character, great company and a musician. He whistled while he walked. Being a saxophone player, he told me that he was practicing. He carried a huge backpack weighing around 30 kilos. I have no idea what it must be like to carry that amount of equipment. I much prefer my mode of transport. It said to me, it's your third spark plug. And that one over there, that doesn't know anything about cars at all. <laughs> there have been some horses. They are uh, blocked. Yes. Locked with a long lunge. Yes. Very long lunge. And one of these horses were nice, I mean, cold blood, but small horses, long hair. Yeah. The gypsies' horses. Yeah, maybe I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they are. Yeah, uh, very nice horses. Yeah. And one of them, uh, I think, a younger horse, very young horse, maybe. 
uh, it was it wanted to to walk with me. <laughs> yeah. So as long as it was possible, it, it walked with me. Yeah. Just behind of me. Yeah. And when it was locked, then that was it. It was crying very loud. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a shame. Yeah. yeah. It cried very, very loud. It's uh, uh, extra for me, extra stable. Stable. Um, it's it's not 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 so bad if the wind is coming. It's not all oh, right. Not so weak. Right. Yeah. Strong. Yeah, not not so weak, and it's also rain is no problem. Yeah. As cool. long as I don't have to pick it, uh, uh, pitch it up or pitch it down. Yeah. It's in the rain always. Yeah. Yeah. There's a no beer. More. There's a beer waiting for you. Yes, that's good. Thanks very much. Now this is. <laughs> oh, this is Ebony. The Ever. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, she's extremely photogenic. Yeah, oh, yeah, she's gorgeous, isn't she? She's a flat-coated retriever. Fantastic. From Revo. Can I interview her as well? Oh yes. So anyway, look. This is Linda. And Linda's in one of the motorhomes just around the corner and she popped in to say hello. So, so where are you from, Linda? Flamborough. Flamborough. I walked through Flamborough, what, two months ago? No, 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 sorry, three I weeks ago. I have to wash so much clothes <laughs> and <laughs> myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here you're okay because the good showers and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what was your name again, sorry? Alwyn. 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 How long have you been on this site? You arrived today, didn't uh, Today, you? but we've been on it many times before. Oh, really? Mm. It's, it's quite good, because we were on the same site together 
last last week or last begin, week. beginning yeah. of this beginning week. Beginning of this week, that's right. Uh, Sandy, Sandy Bay. Bay. Yeah, yes. yeah. And we were talking about that couple next to you. They, they, they were lovely people, they weren't were. they? they were. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's amazing how me and this guy, we just sort of bumped into each other in North Shields. Right. And, and, and then again, we bumped into each other again today. I think yeah. that's really the chances of that happening are like millions to one, aren't now they? Now you're going further up the coast. Yes, yes. For He's going to Edinburgh. He's heading for Edinburgh. Right, you're going further though, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, but that's Edinburgh, all right. Edinburgh, Borough uh, and uh, if possible, farther to, to the north. I would like to go uh, yeah. up to the Orkney Islands. Oh, right. But we will see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, <laughs> he's a really nice guy, this. <laughs> I love you, Alvin. You're a lovely man. <laughs> I've got a dark side, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You've got a dark side. A dark side, oh. oh. You look, can you see it in my eyes? <laughs> oh, come to think of it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers.